says the top news headlines. Security builds off at JNU campus after violence. Manipur observes Imoinu Puja and And Assam rifles continue to seize drugs on Imphal Moray Road. Hello and good afternoon. I'm Arnold Samandaram giving you the Times of Manipur English News. Security has been tightened in and around the campus of Jawaharlal Nehru University, JNU Delhi, after last Sunday's violence that broke out inside the prestigious varsity wherein mask miscreants attack students and teachers with iron rods and sticks, besides damaging properties of the campus. During the incident, JNU SU President Aise Gose was seriously injured and is currently undergoing treatment at All India Institute of Medical Sciences, EMS. As per a report, police barricaded all the entrance of JNU, not allowing any outsiders media persons to enter the campus during daytime. Talking to our Delhi correspondent, not students of JNU expressed that they don't feel safe anymore inside the varsity campus and appealed to the government to intervene and ensure safety of the students. The <laughs> Between my pants, Tara, the Yam, he pointed the lie. As they give the aim from Mukutra, the living from Mukutra, they give the Ibama Yamzu, the Nupi, the hostel protector, whatever they hide, hide in the Laga, him a push later, Yam King about a coin, my arm later, a quick a tromam, a cooks, the Karamba Troman, or Hamilton, the Akiva, me, Paiva, a Tekut or Katra, Numidanga, Mukulisna Murre, Toroga, a quid a hen, but can not over the high school, a coin, we buy number two, a key bomb, the power. I can possess him or the hide the room that my aunt Pinaduna, Hoji, Punga lady, was in my aunt Puna. So we just heard a lot of emotion, and then we saw people running back in and saying that they were throwing stones. We were just trying to put sticks and all the things or whatever shots for so that they can protect themselves. What we saw. League of Kalao Patriots is observing the 43rd Imoinu Festival 2020 at Wankhaining Tempu Krimapal in Falis today. Lok Sabha MP Dr. R.K. Ranjan will attend the opening event as chief guest. Thousands of devotees are expected to throng the venue to seek blessings from Ima Imoinu, the goddess of wealth, later this evening. Manipur Chief Minister and Biren Ministers and other leaders have extended warm greetings to the people of Manipur on the occasion of Imoinu Puja. Vice Chairman of Manipur Food Industries Corporation Limited, MFICL K. Sharad Kumar extended his greetings to the people of Manipur. Talking to media persons, he wished every Maite in the state and those residing in other parts of the globe for prosperity and good health on the occasion. Manipuri Atina Tariba Duga Muni Magi Masamanai Singi from the Yakamu Lunana Sigumba, Thormosina Lakuda Learning Lesson with Thormosina Lakumatanda Manipur the Ladyba Manipur Sakagi, the Minister Amadim Haki, Rises the Ladyba Raza Singh Punamaki. I am going to go to the hospital. I am going to go to the hospital. I am going to go to the hospital. The 11th Ima Imoinu Iratpa is being held at Kongba Saudongpung Ground Kongba Laishramlekai today, organized by Ningombam Angokton Memorial Trust. 
a Pumyaiba competition was held as part of the observance. Troops of 12 Assam Rifles seized 20 packages of brown sugar and WI tablets weighing around 390 grams at Kudengthabi checkpost along Imphal Mori Road yesterday from the possession of one Muhammad Aslam, age 21, led of, son of Led Muhammad Nazir Khan of Mori Muslim Basti, Ward No. 5. The contraband items were found hidden inside pillows and a van which was coming from Mori site. The rest that has been handed over to Mori Police Station for further verification, according to a report. Militant group National Revolutionary Front Manipur NRFM celebrated its 8th Raising Day today at the Outfit's Central Headquarter. The event was organized by NRFM Central Executive and was chaired by the Chairman Malia Konthausam. In a press statement released by the Outfit's Information and Publicity Secretary, Sana Jauba Maite, the event was also attended by General Secretary so Soraren Angomcha. The Outfit's Chief of Army Staff and Defense Secretary, Selung Jau Maite, were present at the celebration held at the military headquarters. Several units of the front, Kaubru unit, Kangla unit, Siro unit, Loktak unit also celebrated the raising day. Now we have a short commercial break. Stay tuned for more updates. Madelan Ambulance Service Manipurna Pungkunmari Chupna Miyam Gi Seba Taukzari Ambulance Service Asina Miyam Da Pizari Ba Servicing Di Yum Dagi Hospital Da Pukhatpa Hospital Dagi Yum Da Puthaba Hospital Amadagi Hospital Amada Puba Yum Thang Nari Ba State Sing Da Anaba Sing Puba Amadi Lauba Luinana India Gi Mafang Khudi Makta Chetpa Yarba Ear Ambulance Ki Service Asina Chingmani Masita Natana Lambi Gi Accident Da Lame Na Hospital Da Pukhatu Na Miyam Gi Mateng Pangzari Adom Sunga Simak Sef Taukshin Bi I quickly contact number 920-598-7988 Natraga Play Store Sangbiduna Madeline F. Download to view. Welcome back. Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution Welfare Association continued to accuse NR Mata Enterprises for mistreating laborers working at Jiribam FCI Godown. A press conference held yesterday at the conference hall of Jiri News Network located at Babupara of Jiribam, General Secretary of CAF and PDLWA H. Dinakumar mentioned about a slew of problems faced by laborers in Jiribam due to partiality shown by NR Mathai Enterprises in issuing permit card to workers. He also alleged that Mathai Enterprises cuts 50% from the wages of laborers and drivers. Dinakumar called upon the concerned authority to look into the matter. Nibamba <laughs> The Tidim Road stretched from Bishnupur headquarters to Khoizuman is littered with plastic waste used in drinking water bottles labeling. As per a report, a half kilometer of the stretch is filled with plastic waste since the past three, four days. The locals drew the attention of the concerned department in this regard. Executive member of United Club Lifapam Anand Khoisnam expressed discontentment over the alleged failure of the government to repair a road connecting Wangoi Bajar and Lilong Usoipokpi, despite assurance. Anand Khoisnam told reporters at Wangoi Laiprapam yesterday that the three suspension bridges in the area are deplorable condition. Local Mayapaibi volunteers also condemned local MLA Abdul Nasir for ignoring the issue. 
Nongsing chura pota yam zau na ekhoi da awa awa maya ona re duga hatak sahi gi 2019-20 gi program phong muda PWD program phong muda so ekhoi gi lam BSC yaorok tre masina ta kodi sahi masu siamaro hai bagi awa awa dunia ekhoi na maya ona re vasi ta wada boi ekhoi ma ekhoi na masida extract ta wada na ban ta wada basu ekhoi leba ki yang aga ekhoi ta wada ning da bani duna mari lai na budi pamen sing na ekhoi atu matam da muk tang miang sang birak duna ekhoi lam bisi seman ning ya duga ekhoi praja singa sibu nong magi sang da bia da polam sing pusin muda madi angang sing na school zat pa ana lain sang zat pa da ekhoi amuk tang nong ai na salan bia ai na ekhoi lenga ki mai ekhoi da thamzari thank you. The District Administration of Eastern Assam Siv Sagar has issued some restrictions at Panidihing Wildlife Sanctuary. Through an order, the District Administration has prohibited picnic, illegal fishing, hunting, littering and playing of loud music in the entire Panihiding Bird Sanctuary area. The directive, after reports of such activities, reached the concerned authorities. These activities result in creating unhealthy environment for the migratory birds and are detrimental for the nesting rest and breeding ground during the winter. It may be noted that Panidihing Wildlife Sanctuary is located in the northern part of Sifsaga district having rich wetland and ecosystem within an area of 33.93 square kilometer. The Panidihing Bird Sanctuary was declared as Wildlife Sanctuary in 1996 and is famous for migratory and resident birds of 165 species. Jharkhand Mukti Morcha MLA Rabindranath Mahato has today unanimously elected as the Speaker of the Jharkhand Assembly. As per media reports, Chief Minister Hemant Shoren proposed Mahato's name for the post which was second by JMM MLA Champai Soren during the second of the three-day session of the Assembly. All the newly elected MLAs in the 81-member House were administered by pro-term Speaker Stefan Marandi and the previous day. It's now time for another short commercial break. Stay tuned. ปามพิทาบิโอเจฮิจามกิปลานดีอิจาบูอะพาวิสคูลดัมไฮตัมฮันบิโออิอิจาไกนะอะพาวิสคูลไฮดีลานายโคชิงตอบกิอะวาบะ
Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, which would explain the unprecedented turnout of hundreds of thousands in at least three Iranian cities. The attendees numbered into the millions and the streets of Tehran were so full of people that many were unable to emerge from underground metro stations. The sheer number of mourners left many people stuck in side streets around Enkelab Street, the main route of the procession to a ceremony at Tehran University, reports said. It may be recalled that Soleimani was killed in a U.S. drone attack in Baghdad last Friday, escalating tensions between Washington and Tehran and causing concern across the world. The U.S. justified his killing, saying he was responsible for the death of hundreds of Americans and coalition service members and wounding of thousands more. Now we have the sports news. Australian Open organisers are monitoring the deteriorating air quality in Melbourne and said matches would be suspended if conditions become hazardous amid the bushfire crisis. As per media reports, hundreds of fires have killed at least 25 people and ravaged more than 8 million hectares of land across Australia over the last few months. With qualifying for the season's first Grand Slam starting from 14th of this month, tournament director Craig Talley said officials can halt play if smoke poses a danger to players, have reports informed. And before we wind up the top news headlines once again. Security beefed up at JNU campus after violence. Manipur observes Imoinu Puja. And Assam Rifles continues to seize drugs on Infal Moray Road. Well, that's all for now. Stay tuned to Times of Manipur.